Hello everyone, welcome back. We are starting with the next second chapter of biology in class 10th that is control and coordination. As we have already discussed in the first chapter introduction that control and coordination is also one of the metabolic processes which is very very important in the human body and who is basically acting as a control and coordinating center it is the brain in human beings. Now the first question arises what is the need of control and coordination in human body? Now we know that multicellular organism that means organisms which are made up of millions of cells have complex organ systems to perform vital functions like respiration, nutrition, excretion, transportation that we have already studied. Now such complexity requires control and communication system which coordinates different activities of different system. For example, if the nervous system will not be present, we will not have the feeling of stomach full. We will not have the feeling of filling of urinary bladder so there, there the coordination between the different systems is very very important for the body to function properly now what are the different examples showing control and coordination removing of hand when you touch a hot pan or you are removing your foot when you strike a stone or uh, or any any metal object so what you do you basically do a knee jerk now when we start with this chapter one component which is very very important is neuron what it is it is the functional and structural unit of nervous system it is the basic the one basic unit which performs the function and together they also forms the structure they are called as neurons now neurons has the ability to receive environmental information which is also called as stimulus or stimulus where is the stimulus coming from it is coming from the five sense organs that is eyes ears nose skin and tongue so these are the five sense organs which will give the stimulus or the environmental information which will be conducted into the body of organism and it will generate responses so that is the function of a neuron what is a nervous system all nerve cells together constitute the nervous tissue which is then organized into a system which is called as nervous system. Now messages are, which are received through the nerve cells have an instant reaction. Just take an example, you, are you just touched a hot object. How much time will you take to remove your hands? Some milliseconds. It's because it is a very very quick response otherwise what will happen if the response will be slow then the chances of body getting hurt will be more. Now when we are talking about neuron we'll be start talking about a structure of neuron that you have already done in class 9th. So let's revise it is basically a long branched structure which have a big cyton which is also called as cell body. The cyton has endings called as dendrites. There is a prominent nucleus present in the center. Then the cyton basically elongates into a fiber-like structure called as exon. Exon has on it a white color sheet which is called as myelin sheet. The spaces of interruptions between the myelin sheet is called as nodes of Ranvier. And where the exon ends, there are certain terminals which are called as exon terminals. Now, let's do it one by one. Cyton. Cyton is a basically enclosed by plasma membrane. It has a nucleus. It has cytoplasm, various organelles like mitochondria, which is present here in cyton. Dendrites. They are short and branched outgrowths arising from cyton. And this is the part of the neuron which will be receiving the messages. Exon. Exon is a single elongated fiber. I just discussed it is the fiber which basically is arising from the cyton and it is carrying the information. Exon terminal. Now this part which is called as exon terminal, it will be helping in conduction of the impulse. The dendrites are receiving, they are receiving uh, structures and they are conducting structures. 
Now, well, let's start with a nerve impulse. What is a nerve impulse? The wave-like signals that pass the information from one part of the body to other and are conducted through neurons because of certain chemicals and electrical changes in neurons. Now, we have to discuss what is the direction of a nerve impulse. How basically the nerve impulse are moving into our body. The first thing would be the nerve impulse will be received by the dendrite. Dendrite will pass it to the cell body. The cell body will pass it to the exon. And exon will pass it to the nerve terminals. Till here from dendrite, still nerve terminals, it is an electrical impulse. It is electric in nature. Now when it reaches the nerve terminals, there is a there is the, the gap between the two neurons. So there is one neuron and then there is a little gap and then there is another neuron. That gap is called as synapse. What is a synapse? It is a site where exon endings of one neuron and the dendrites of another neuron meet. So this is something which is actually has a relay uh, ray. So one neuron has the message, it will pass it to another and then to another. But when the nerve is passing the message, the electrical impulse will be converted into a chemical signal. And what is the chemical? The chemical is acetylcholine. Now this acetylcholine will diffuse into the gap and generates excitation in the second neuron and then the second neuron will pass it to the third neuron and it will continue in the nerve fiber. Now if we have to divide the nerve tissue, there are the nervous tissue in human beings is divided into two main parts, central nervous system called as CNS, it has the brain, it has our brain and the spinal cord. The second is peripheral nervous system which is also called PNS and what it is composed of? It is composed of nerves, nerves which carries information from the central nervous system. Central nervous system se do leke ja rahi hai aur jo brings the nervous information back to the central nervous system. Okay, now the most important part of the nervous coordination because there are two types of coordination in human beings one is nervous and the other is chemical now we are doing nervous coordination and what is the most important part of the brain which is also called as the master organ because it is controlling everything now brain is the highest coordinating center it is located in a bony box within skull skull is in the present and we call it called cranium or then brain box. Brain ke upar, there are three layers of connective tissues which is present and these layers are called as meninges. Now the space between these membrane and the skull is filled with a fluid which is called as cerebrospinal fluid. Because it is cerebrum mein present hai, which is brain, it is also present in spinal cord. So we give common term it cerebrospinal fluid abbreviation hota hai CSF. Now what is the function of this fluid? One, it helps the brain against mechanical shocks ki koi mechanical shock nahi lage brain ko because it's such a delicate organ, such an important organ. Second, it provides nutrition to the nervous tissue, nutrition to work, to the energy to do all the work which the nervous tissues are doing and it also helps in maintaining the constant pressure in the cranium. Now the human brain is basically divided into three parts, forebrain, the front part, the middle brain and the hind brain. Now the forebrain is basically divided into following parts. The first part, the largest part of the brain is cerebrum. Now cerebrum has sensory areas. That means, where the information comes from? Sense organs. The five sense organs we have listed, whatever information is coming, it will come into this organ. In, in this structure of the brain which is called as cerebrum and the motor areas from which the impulses are also sent to muscles or organ dono cheeze stimulus a bhi raha hai aur yaha se kya ho raha hai response ja bhi raha hai to sensory areas bhi hai which is getting the stimulus aur motor areas hai which are sending the information the response back okay for example, sensory hamara stimulus hua hotness of an object or motor area ka response kya hoga? take your hand back. So both these structures are present in cerebrum. 
नाउ द सेरिब्रम हैज टू हेमिसफेयर जिसकी चार लोब्स हैं फर्स्ट फ्रंटल सो वो किसके लिए हेल्प करता है मस्कुलर एक्टिविटीज योर इमोशंस योर रीजनिंग्स वट एवर रीजनिंग्स वी हैव फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स इज कंट्रोल बाय फ्रंटल लो पेराइटल लो विल कंसिडर द रिकोगशन इफ यू रिकोगनाइज थिंग्स प्लेसिस पर्सन इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ पेराइटल लो ऑसिपिटल लोब विजुअल रिसेप्शन वट एवर यू आर सींग एंड यू आर रिसीविंग इज डन बाय दिस लोब टेम्पोरल ऑडिटरी सुनने का स्टिमुलाई मेमोरी एंड स्पीच इज कंट्रोल बाय टेम्पोरल लोब Now the second part of the forebrain is olfactory lobes, which helps in the sense of smell. Whatever smell we are getting are being reciprocated in this lobes. Now the third is diencephalon, the feeling of pain, the feeling of temperature, the feeling of touch, the feeling of pressure, heartbeat, thirst, and emotion. All these basically are controlled by this part of your. Fourth brain. The second part of the brain is midbrain. Now, what is the function of midbrain? It controls the vision of the eyes, and it transmits the information. It is basically a junction between the forebrain and the spinal cord. So, whatever the information has to pass from the forebrain to the spinal cord or vice versa will be done by midbrain. The third part of the brain is hindbrain, which consists of cerebellum. सेरिबलम इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट पोर्शन ऑफ द ब्रेन द फर्स्ट जो सबसे फर्स्ट लार्जेस्ट था वो क्या था सेरिब्रम और सेकेंड क्या है सेरिबेलम सेरिब्रम कहाँ प्रेजेंट है फोर ब्रेन में सेरिबेलम कहाँ प्रेजेंट है हाइंड ब्रेन में सेरिब्रम का क्या फंक्शन है सेंसरी और मोटर और सेरिबेलम का क्या फंक्शन है बेटा इट हेल्प्स इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड पोस्टर विदाउट दिस पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन वी कैन नॉट इवन स्टैंड स्ट्रेट वी आर वॉकिंग स्ट्रेट वी आर राइडिंग अ बाइसिकल स्ट्रेट वी आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन कॉल्ड एज सेरी बेलम एंड देन इट हैज मेडुलर ऑब्लोगटा हाइंड विच लीड्स टू द ब्रेन स्टेम नाउ वट डज द ब्रेन स्टेम डू इट कंट्रोल्स वेरियस इन वॉलेंट्री इन वॉलेंट्री का क्या मतलब है द मूवमेंट विच आर नॉट अंडर आर कंट्रोल सो रेस्पिरेशन हार्ट बीट वॉलोइंग ऑफ फूड वॉमिटिंग कफिंग स्नीजिंग आर ऑल कंट्रोल बाय मेडुला ऑब्लो गैंटा नाउ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम इज स्पाइनल कॉट it is a tube like structure that you can feel at the back of your body which is enclosed in a protective bony structure called as vertebral column it extends from medulla medulla jo brain ka last part hai medulla oblongata and passes through the vertebral column it is also covered by meninges and uh, there is the space jaise brain mein kya present hai cerebrospinal fluid Similarly, spinal cord may be kya present hai cerebrospinal fluid. It has thirty-one segments. That means it is divided into. It is not a straight rod-like structure. It has small segments, thirty-one segments, and from each segment arises a pair of nerves. So, kitni nerve pairs ho gayi bache? Thirty-one. Now, what are the functions of spinal cord? It mediates most of the involuntary, जितने भी involuntary reflex actions हैं body के it would be mediated by the spinal cord. It conveys the sensory nerve impulses and the motor nerve impulses. Now, with regard to the spinal cord, there is a very important function which is carried out by spinal cord, which is called as reflex action. Now, reflex action is very important because in some situations shock. or uh, in some situation when the body has to take a very quick decision and the, there is no time of thinking the this action basically comes into action jisko kehte hain reflex action it is quick it is involuntary without our control automatic response to a stimulus in it thinking part of the brain is not involved and hence produces same response to so, jitni bar multiple times bhi agar aap usi situation ke um, ko face karoge the response will be same because the thinking is not involved knee jerk the movement of food peristalsis in your elementary canal are also example of reflex action now let's see how basically this reflex action work 
Now the reflex action is the term, is the phenomena which is carried out by a pathway. Is pathway ko hum kehte hain reflex arc. The shortest pathway for mediating a response to a stimulus is called as reflex arc. The process is called as reflex action. The pathway is called as reflex arc. So this is a common reflex arc that I have shown. The first is stimulus. Say, you have touched a hot surface or any other environmental change, a bad smell or a good smell, that can be a stimulus. The stimulus will be taken up by receptors. Receptors, it would be on the dendrite of the nerve impulse of any sense organ. Okay? Then where will they send? They would be taken up by the efferent pathways, by efferent nerves and it will receive the spinal cord. Spinal cord mein kaha, kaun le ke aara hai isko? Kyunki wo le ke aari hai, to un nerves ko hum kya kehte hai? Sensory nerves ya fir efferent nerves. Uske baad efferent nerves se kaha a gai? Spinal cord. Spinal cord will receive the stimulus. Or jo response ho ga, jaysay in this situation we have to ha take the hand back. It will give the response. Or uske baad kaun le ke jayega? Motor nerves. Motor nerves ka dousra naam kya hota hai? Efferent nerves. Motor nerves will take it back. To the gland, to the muscle, to the last part जहाँ पे हमने response को भेजना है and the response will be taken. इस case में क्या है hand, so the muscle of the hand will be contracting and it will be taking the hand back. So this is a common example of a reflex arc. The smallest pathway जिससे हम stimulus को क्या दे रहे हैं response. Now, uh, the last topic in human uh, nervous coordination is peripheral nervous system, which is called as PNS. It consists of nerve fibers that conduct signals between central nervous system and receptors located in all parts of the body. Peripheral nervous system ki do parts hai. Ek hai cranial nerves, which arises from brain and connect all parts to head. Aur kitni hoti hai? They are 12 in number. Cranial matlab it is coming from cranium, brain. Spinal matlab it is coming from spinal cord. So there are 31 pairs connect parts of entire body to the spinal cord. Thank you. I think the nervous coordination part of this chapter will be over. In the next two segments we will be taking up coordination in plants. And in the third segment I will be taking up the chemical coordination or the endocrine systems in humans. Please like, share, subscribe and comment if some portion is not clear so we can take it up. Thank you so much for your...